Pythagorean Theorem, Lesson 24, Example 1, C and D. For C, we know that A is 14 feet, B is the unknown, and C is 16 feet. So we know a leg and the hypotenuse, and we're going to solve for B, which is a leg. Fill in what you know. So A is 14, so 14 squared. We don't know B, so we're going to put B squared. And the hypotenuse is 16, so equals 16 squared. Now, on A... We showed the subtraction from both sides. Notice, how, see here how I put minus 8 squared. We could do that. But since it takes up so much room to do some of these, what I'm going to have you do instead is draw an arrow like that because we're going to take that 14 squared to the other side because we want b squared by itself here on the left. Now, to take it to the other side, it needs to be the opposite. Since it was positive 14, I'm going to make it negative 14, so minus 14 squared. So my new equation is now b squared equals 16 squared minus 14 squared. I took the positive 14, moved it to the other side, and made it minus. Okay, now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So to get rid of the square, the opposite of squaring something is the square root. So my square root and my square cancel out. And on my calculator, I do the square root of 16 squared. It's the leg that we're solving for, so it's minus 14 squared. Hit enter. Now look at the decimal it gives us. It gives us this big long decimal. Well, that's why in the notes it says, if necessary, round your answer to the nearest hundredths. Okay, this is, we talked about this a long time ago. Um, what this is, is um, an irrational number. And remember, irrational numbers go on forever. They, that's a decimal that doesn't repeat. It doesn't terminate, it doesn't end, it goes on forever. So that's where, if you remember, we would put the number down with four decimal places. So 7, B equals 7.7459. And then don't forget the ellipse at, at the end. Now we are going to round it. So now... Because we're rounding, it's not going to be equal anymore. It's going to be approximate. And we're rounding it to the hundred. So we're rounding it to that four. So would the five make the four stay a four or go up to five? Well, zero to four stays the same. Five to nine goes up one. So this would be 7.7. 7. B is approximately 7.75. Final answer. Um, because we rounded, it's about 7.75 feet. We need to use the word about because we are rounding. If you have any questions on C, please let me know. Pause your video. Make sure you have everything written down. Please don't skip anything. All right. Example D. We're solving for the hypotenuse again. All right, so we have A is 24, so 24 squared. B is 32, so plus 32 squared, equals the hypotenuse, which we don't know, so C squared. Well, in, in A, we wrote it twice and then took the square root. Again, we're going to take the square root right here to save ourselves some space. So the opposite of squaring something is the square root. That would cancel the square and the square root out. So we're going to put in the calculator square root of 24 squared. Finding the hypotenuse means addition. 32 squared it equals and it's 40. So 40 equals C. Final answer is 40 inches. All right, so there is all of example one for you. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'd be glad to help.